Hello all, it's me, Andy. I hope we've got a great day. It's warm again in the UK. Today's video, something a bit different. Budget build, Intel's, Pentium Gold, the G6405 on LGA 1200. So brand new, at the end of the day, socket processor. But today, we're gonna play around with with its graphics, the HD 610. Now we are talking about low, low, low end graphics here. We're gonna play around with some games, see if we get anything to work. Where we get, get to work will be a bonus. Yeah, I'll just show you how slow it is really, more than what it's capable of. Because at the end of the day, I'm not quite sure where they put, they put the graphics in here, what's supposed to be. I mean, basically, it's going to be YouTube stuff, really, online banking, that sort of stuff, really, because if we are talking about budget or budget. I mean, if you want to compare it to AMD's 24G or 2200G, uh, sorry, the 3200G, 3400G, and the new upcoming 5000 series, the G series, um, this is no comparison. And they, I mean, AMD annihilate this completely gnarly. Even their top of the range, 750, gets annihilated. Um, so I'm not quite sure why, I, why Intel still playing around with this IGP. But let's have some fun. Let's go. Battlefield 1, at the end of the day, well we struggling to do 15 frames here, at all, we're on the lowest of the lowest settings as well, we can't get any worse, we're on 720p, at the end of the day, with the lowest settings, um, basically it ain't playable, I mean if you was doing first, the first person shoot them up part, running around, you're never about to shoot anything. Um, it's jerky. It's awful. It looks awful. Basically, I suggest don't even bother trying. And it just ain't worth going there at all. Got a clear shot of those field guns. Got a clear shot of Company Heroes 2, great RTS game. Alright, we are getting 25 frames a second, so you could say, alright, it's possibly playable, but you've got to remember, you're going to have more troops on the screen than you've got on here. And then they, um, I've got it on 50% resolution scale, so we're on a low, low, low. At the end of the day. But it's up to you. I mean, personally, I wouldn't play it, but that's just me. CSGO, well I've got 50 odd frames a second, it's not too bad, it's not too jerky but ideally everyone plays this over 100 frames a second, so make sure there's no, no lag or any, any type at all, any slowdown 
at all. I mean, it looks all right. I mean, you could play this for fun at the end of the day, but if you want to be competitive, you've got no chance. GTA, everyone's favourite. Now we're on 800 by 600 resolution with everything turned off at the end of the day. Okay, you could play this. It's one game that you could actually play at the end of the day. And it don't look that bad. Mind you, it is a, I think, 10 year old game. So it's one of the reasons why it don't look that bad. But yeah, you could always give it a go, have fun. Shut up, Mordor. Again, we're doing 25 frames a second. Again, we're in 720p on the lowest of the lowest settings. And then they, again, you could, you might be able to play this, but if you get 50, 60 enemy mobs running after you, it could be a problem there. Red Dead Redemption. Now we're on the lowest of the lowest at the end of the day. We're on 1000 by 768 resolution. Uh, she just don't want to play at all. So I suggest you don't even bother trying it at all. It's, it's like watching slow motion video at the end of the day. Um, it's a pity. It's a great game, but you ain't got no chance on this.
Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Again, just like Red Dead, you got no chance at the end of the day. I would have done my scene where I run through the market, but it's like, is it worth it <laughs> at the end of the day? Again, it's a pity, it's another great game, it looks lovely, but it just runs, runs too slow at the end of the day. Now you can download the resolution scale, but it looks absolutely awful and you only gain five frames a second more. Ghost Recon Wildlands, great game from Ubisoft. Again, plays too slow at the end of the day, and we're on the lowest of the lowest settings. Again, it's a pity, really. At the end of the day, the IGP just is not powerful enough. Varus, oh, Quintilus Varus, give me back my legions! You are walking into a trap, Varus. Rome Total War 2. Well, that was a lot of screenshots look awful at the end of the day. We're on 720p, the lowest of the lowest settings. Would I play it like this? Probably not at the end of the day, because when you are playing, you're going to have a lot of troops together fighting at the, gate, at the end of the day. Um, and in the demo, they're quite widespread. Now, yes, we're on the smallest armies. There's no vegetation. It's all missing at the end of the day. But the benchmark said it's playable.
Okay, let's end with a game what is playable. It's got millions of players. World of Warcraft. Now we are in the lowest. Our settings are. We're set to f setting free, and we're in 720p. And they. I mean, it's definitely playable. But you've got to remember, this is not including going raiding or dungeoning. And then they, where you're going to have a lot more players. And you're going to be in, inside at the end of the day, fighting. But otherwise, in the open world, runs fine. Can't complain. Looks alright, even on the low settings. Okay, you saw the graphics. You had a laugh. Well, I had a laugh. I you know, so think you definitely had a laugh too. And then they. So basically, don't expect to buy this processor and expect the graphics to work. That's what it's all about, this, this video. Don't expect miracles. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Have fun all, and out.